So while I don't have access to everything from the CHP report when it comes to Kylie Rodney's car, I do at least have the CHP report. And if you watched my review, my overview of the CHP report, one of the things that I mentioned in it that was concerning to me was the fact that the wiper arms on the car were actually engaged and they were up on the windscreen. And my comment at the time was that that led me to believe that there was someone in the driver's seat when that car went in the water. Because the automatic response when you get suddenly get a rush of water on the windscreen would be to turn the wiper arms on. And after making that video, I kept worrying about that and thought maybe after all this time we've been wrong and maybe Kylie did drive herself into the reservoir because somebody was in the driver's seat when that car went in otherwise the wiper blades wouldn't be turned on. But then I got to thinking and something just wasn't quite right in my mind. Something didn't add up. So I started looking at other photos from when Kylie's car was recovered. And first of all, I looked at a side, I could find a side view of Kylie's car that was a really clear side view. And it showed me a clean view of the windscreen and I could not see any sign of there being wiper blades on that windscreen. And in fact, when I look at it, it looks more like the wiper blades are actually rested on the base where they normally are when they're not running. And if you look at the base of the windscreen, you can see that from that angle, you can see quite a distance across. So you should be able to see the arm of the wiper blade on that windscreen were they engaged at the time that the vehicle went into the water. So I knew that there were images and there were videos of the car being retrieved that showed a front on view. Now these are not great images. It was, they were taken from the other side of the reservoir by media and so they're not really super, super clear. But I decided to pull them up and have a look anyway. So I grabbed footage that was the highest resolution I could manage and I had a look and I used the magnifier tool on that footage. And here's the thing. With the magnifier tool, I expected to see some sign of wiper blades on or wiper arms on that windscreen if they were engaged. And there was nothing. It just looked like there was nothing on that windscreen when it came out of the water. And I blew it up even more and there was still nothing that I could see that to me would indicate the wiper arms being up on the windscreen when it came out of the water. In fact, it looked to me when I blew it up more that I could actually see the wiper arms lying down in the off position. So I decided that what I needed to try, and this is not something that I'm any good at, I will admit. So feel free to look at this yourselves and perhaps find better images and see for yourselves whether I am correct or incorrect. But what I did after looking at those first images, I went back to the image of the car at the FBI and I could see that the rubber from under the bonnet was sticking up and I thought, well, maybe that's what I saw when I saw the images of the vehicle and thought that 
that was the wiper arms. So I thought what I'm going to try is an overlay. So I put the image of the car from the FBI onto the same screen as the magnified vehicle. And even though I will admit they are not the same angle, which makes it harder, I still decided that if I made the one transparent and overlaid it over the other one, I could at least get a rough idea of the location of the wiper arms on that vehicle so that I could then remove the overlay and it would just give me a better way of looking to see if I could actually see the wiper arms. And I still could not see those wiper arms. So it seems to me that in fact they were moved during the investigation. They weren't engaged when the car was pulled out of the water. Which actually goes back to the whole theory of Kylie did not drive herself into the water. Because when you look at videos of vehicles that have gone into the water, the one consistent thing that you see is that these vehicles all have their wipers turned on because they've had this sudden shock and there's water in their windscreen from the impact of hitting the water. So it appears to me that the wipers weren't actually on when Kylie's vehicle went in the water, which to me actually suggests that there was nobody in the driver's seat when that vehicle entered the reservoir 